welcome back to another video as you already read by the title i'm going to be raiding my mom's closet and trying some of her outfits that she had from the late 90s to the early 2000s era a lot of these styles are coming back but i don't gotta spend money on it because i can just get it for free in her closet so we're gonna try on some of her clothes and see how they look so these are all the clothes that i found and we're gonna see how they look on so the first item is this pair of jeans um, their Von Dutch jeans. Okay, mama. So I thought this was perfect for the video because mama came clutch. So this is the first outfit of it. So this is the Von Dutch jeans I was just talking about. I heard it with this guest rhinestone belt that she had and this guest um, tank top that she had and then I just made it a little crop. I also paired it with some white Air Forces. I'm not a big fan of low-rise jeans. I can understand why these were a thing, but for me, they don't look good on me. Although I get the concept because my booty is looking like a pump. Hey, that one is cute, right? I don't know if this is Y2K. Is this considered Y2K? I don't want to say it is because I don't know. Yeah, it's a little bit like throwbacky. I feel like I'm in a music video. Oh, yeah. Second item is another pair of low rise jeans, and you guessed it, it's from the brand Guess. Clearly, someone had an obsession, so we're gonna see how these ones look. This is the second outfit. This is the halter top that I had from Shein a couple hauls ago, and this is just a belt that I had from like the eighth grade. And then these are the black guest jeans. And then I paired it with some Air Forces. Ow. God. I like these jeans better than the Von Dutch jeans because they fit nicer on the thighs and they taper off nicely from the knee. But I don't know, low rise jeans make your butt look real good because she is non existent, y'all. Giving me that Beyonce and Shakira Pepsi commercial. Okay, next item on the agenda is this two-piece skirt and top set. It has like um, tulips, I'm guessing, on it. Kind of cute, so we're gonna see how it looks. So this is the third outfit on. I paired it with this lime green bag from Shein and then a pair of kitty cat heels. It reminds me of Miss Honey from Matilda or Sex in the City going for a cocktail with the girls. It's giving me a day in New York summer though. So, you know, a day in New York in the spring in 2007. Why is that so specific? I don't know, but that's the vibe I'm getting from it. I like it. I feel like this is something I would wear. I would totally wear this out. two-piece dress it comes with a striped slip dress and then this polka dot, polka dot dress it's see-through so i'm guessing this goes underneath it so we're gonna see how this one looks this is the brown dress i paired it with the black shoulder bag and then again with the black kitty heels that i thrifted i don't like it is that bad to say i don't like it like it's too loose i wish it was a little bit more Okay, hold on. So I tightened the dress um, to kind of fit it more to my body because before it wasn't really fitting to my body. And I like it a lot more now that it's a little bit more tailored. It reminds me of Tony Childs from Girlfriends, the show. I feel like this is something she'd wear. Girlfriends, they're through thick and thin. Also wear this out. Am I pushing it? Or whatever i don't know maybe not but it's so cute i feel like if i was a mom back then this is something that i would wear because i look good i look good this is the second one i forgot to introduce it but um it's a two-piece guest set um with a skirt and a shirt 
why was my mom killing it back then? You know what I mean? She actually, she was, she was killing it. I paired it with um, these white kidney heels. Again, you've seen them before. Um, I thrifted those and then um, I matched it with this white bag from Shein that you've also seen before. But this is really cute. I love this blue stitching right down the middle. Cute. This is something I would most definitely wear today and probably will be wearing it when the quarantine lifts. Yes, I feel like a summer popsicle in this one. I really, really like this one, guys. It's so cute. My mama was, she had style, y'all. Don't play with her. Where do you think I got it from? It's so funny though, because I remember seeing my mom wear this and like, no, I can wear it. Isn't that mad? It's my turn. I can live out my Shoot, I can't live out my 20s because I'm in quarantine. Okay, well, I'm gonna live out my 20s through you guys. If you see it on Instagram, you know where I got it from. I saved the best for last. This dress. I'm speechless. The rhinestone detailing and then it has like a trail going at the back a cute little slit at the side and then the back it's so nice I mean the detailing of the dress is absolutely beautiful marbling design on it with like a nice deep turquoise color and then there's this intricate beading and threading and beading and threading all the way through the dress. I feel like I went through the stages of life with these outfits. First, I was like a young teen with a little low cut, low rise jeans. And then like I got a job, like my first job. And then I moved to corporate. Somehow I moved to corporate. And then I'm like in my mid thirties now. I'm looking to settle down with a little guest outfit piece. This is my banquet outfit. This is my banquet outfit. Cause you know in all those movies, the girl is like upset with her boyfriend and then they have to go to the banquet together and then they fall back in love. This is what I'd be wearing for that. So this is the banquet outfit at the end of the movie. Come on now. Why was my mom killing it back then? Who, is, who does she think she is? Actually obsessed with this dress, guys. I feel like I keep saying that, but that's how I feel. So that concludes this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a lot of fun to film trying on some of my mom's old clothes. Like I remember growing up and seeing her wear these and now I get to wear them. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and tune in every Friday for a new video.